Hello, welcome to our channel for R programming. In this video, we will introduce summarize function of DPLY R package to get summary information in R programming. So we know DPLY R is part of the tidyverse. Now tidyverse is a collection of libraries that use the pipeline structure. So this mechanism will make the function training and making the programming operation faster, simpler and easier. And summarize and its various version like summarize all, summarize at will provide some ways to get summary information by one or more variables. Next, we will show several examples in our studio using summarize function. So first, we will load a library called mass, and we will use the data frame called GitHub. And we create a data frame GitHub 2, same as GitHub, and we show the first several observations of this data frame. And I can see the data frame Gehan2 has four column variables pair, time, sense, and treat. And specifically, the treat variable is category with two value. Next, we will load library tidyverse. So this is for the DPLYR. And if you have not installed the tidyverse, say you have just installed DPLYR, it is also enough that you load DPLYR. Then you can use summarize function. So Gehan data frame passed, this is the symbol for the pipeline. So Gehan library passed through the summarize function. That means this data frame will be the first parameter of this function. So it is the same as summarize Gehan, comma count equals n. So this n is a function, count how many observations. So we will show how it is going. So count you can see here to count. So this count is a variable you create. So this means we summarize the data frame Gehan by counting how many observations and return a data frame type and with a variable called count. So there are 42 observations. Next, we can count how many observations for each variable in treat variable. So first, same as before, pass using pipeline. So Gehan, the uh, data frame passed to the group by function in DPLYR first. And the group by this data frame, by which variable? By treat variable. We have seen treat variable has two values. So this will be grouped in terms of these two values from treat variable. Then the result is a grouped object, then passed further to the summarize function. And inside the summarize function, we will create a variable called a count and using function n. So the result is quite clear. For cheat variable, there are two value, there are 21, 21 observations for each. And next example, we show producing statistics, statistics for treatment, no treatment value. So same as before, we group by treat first, then pass to the summarize function. So now inside summarize function, we use mean, median, standard deviation, match, and interquantile range IQR, these five, these five 
important or very useful statistics for time variable. Then we create five variable name to get the result of these five statistics. So now you can see for the treat variable, these two values, there are five columns average, median, standard deviation, and so on. Only show the first three. Uh, similarly, we can create two more statistics of minimum and maximum time. So minimum and maximum for these two values treat group in the data frame GitHub. And next the function called summarize all, we will first also load library mass and create a data frame from survey data frame first to tens observations, then we load DPLYR and we shoot this data frame first. But this data frame has sex and New WHND, WHND, smoke, height for the people's information and age. Then the example is say we want to calculate the mean of each column variable by sex group. So we just pass this data frame first to a function called NA omit. So this will remove the missing value. Then the result will pass further to the group by by sex, then pass the to the summarize function. Then this summarize will use option across where is numeric. Where is numeric? Then we use the function mean. Then we create column name. Column name is the mean plus this column name. Then the result will pass to a header function. So, you can see for the sex variable, female and mean male, there for all the numeric variable in the original data frame, the mean value has been created. And for categories summation, we can also based on more than two variable. So first we will show a data frame called msleep. msleep is for the sleep data. You can see name, genus, for order, sleep, several, several more variables. Then we pass this. Then you can see Then we can pass this msleep to the group by function, and this time group by based on two variables, row and order. Then the result, result is created and assigned to new sleep. Then we can use summarize to this object and with the n function. Let me see how it is going. Then this time, observations based on all the combinations for all the variables from these two variables. So for example, values, Vo has a value Kane and order has Kanevola has 12 observations and so on. And you can use alternative way, just pass m sleep to the group by, then pass it to the summarize with m function. You get the same results. The result is the same. And the summarize all function is used to get the summarize for all columns. 
for example, we create a data frame. First, you can see this data frame has column 1, column 2, or numeric variable. Then we can get summarize all for this data frame and with the mean. So summarize all will print all the mean values for these two columns. And the summarize it will affect the variables that are extracted with a character vector. It applies to the selected function to the data frame. So we will show data frame first created column 1, column 2, and column 3. Column 3 are character, column 1 and column 2 are numeric. Then say we will summarize data at a column 1 and a column 2. Then we can use data frame passed to summarize at function. Then inside the summarize at we use C for these two columns. So which means we just want to apply the function summarize at these two columns. Then with the function mean and removing the missing value. So the result is a summarized value for the mean for these two columns. Thanks for watching.